So we have a, a nice or friendly radical and we want to solve for a. But before I'm solving for a, let me make a, some condition here. So some restrictions. So first of all, I'm going here to restrict a is a greater than zero and the a is element of real number. And the second thing here, this is the left side and this is the right side. So I'm going to take the left side and I'm going to simplify this, uh, this part, this term. And now let me simplify. So I'm taking here a seven and let me write this seven here, the radicand in the form, in the form of the rational exponent. And it's going to be square root of a divided by one over the cubic root of a cubic root of a. And on the other side, the outside here is going to be a squared divided by a in exponent 5 divided by 6. Okay, so now I have uh, this form, but uh, since I have uh, this form, I cannot simplify it a little bit further. And this I can write in the form 7 in exponent uh, square root of a times a cubic root of a. And the other part I'm going to just, uh, the other exponent I'm going just to rewrite in the form how it is, 5 over 6. So I'm not doing any operation here. And now, if I move a little bit further, so let me rewrite in the other, in the side. So if I want to multiply, they do not have the same index, but I'm going to multiply in the terms of the rational exponent. And let me write as a rational exponent those exponents here. So a is going to be in the exponent 1 over 2 times a in exponent 1 over 3. So now I can uh, multiply them because of the base is the same according to the ex rules of the exponents. And this is a, a squared divided by a in exponent 5 over 6. And if I multiply this here, it's going to be now 7. And a, according to the rules, if the base is the same, I can uh, add those exponents. And it's going to be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. And everything here is in exponent a squared divided by a in exponent 5 over 6. And this exponent now, this uh, radical I can write in this form, 7. And now here I can multiply by 3. And this side by 3, so I want to make uh, the same uh, LCD. Here by 2 and here I multiply by 2. And what's going to happen here is going to be this exponent now. a in exponent uh, 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. And everything is in exponent uh, a squared divided by a in exponent 5 over 6. And I am adding those two. And we're going to have a 7 in... Uh, and what's going to happen here? is going to be a in exponent uh, 3 plus 2 is a 5 over 6. 5 over 6. And here we have a, a squared divided by a in exponent 5 over 6. If I multiply all those exponents, the powers here, what's going to happen? I'm going to have a 7 in exponent a 5 in over 6 times a squared divided by a in exponent 5 over 6. And now here we can simplify this a5 in the 6, a5 in the 6, because it's a like term. And finally, what remains here remains a 7 in exponent a squared. But don't forget, this was the left side. And the right side of the equation, if we are going a little bit on the top and look in here, was a 7. It is equal with 7. So this is the right side, was 7. And now, 7, but this is not exponent. I'm I'm telling it's just the right side. And here I can write the exponent is 1. According to the rules of the exponents, if the base is the same, the powers are the same. So a squared is going to be equal to the 1. If we are solving for a now, and we're taking square root of both sides, a is going to be equal to the plus minus 1. So a is equal to the 1, and a is equal to the minus 1. But the only solution is a equal to the 1. Because we already made the restriction here, we made a restriction, we said that a has to be greater than 0, and a is element of real numbers. If we are plugging minus 1 here, it's not going to hold, because we are going to get imaginary number. 
That's why minus 1 is an extraneous solution. The only solution is A is equal with 1. So this is the only solution.